using English, but uh, some of my friends, Lisa san uh, helps me to do some translation. So if you can understand, please read here. And my name is Mami, and I I'm come from Rita Richi, Rita Riko, which provides the services for the children who have disabilities. And I also come from Kofu, Japan, and I also a PhD student. So I work for the Ritariko and Kofu, Japan, and I also a student. And Ritariko is the company which provides services for the children who have autism, ADHD, and LD. And six to seven percent of the children have some, some difficulties to learn or some difficulties to help communicate with other people. So maybe you, your friends, or some of your how can I, co-workers have some difficulties with communication or some learnings, and we provide some education for them. And when we focus on the issues, there are so many social issues in society, and some of them, some of the people have the ideas about how to solve it, but because of the lack of the technologies, it's difficult for us to solve it. So that's why we want to gather the engineers and some, the peop some people who want to help somebody. And this is the project which is called Social Fighter Award. And Ritariko, Ritarichi, is the, the organizer and Call for Japan was the sponsor. So that's why I am the member of the Call for Japan now. And we have we we bring some time about the schools and which I call it hack the school and one of the tema is that I can't read it but uh, change the old class class or some lectures like game and remove the oversleep from the world <laughs> and. This is one of my theme of my research because my my research is about the difference of the brain between the ADHD children and typical development children during the day sleep. So this also can change to my <laughs> research, but there is some theme that we want to solve about the education. And we do the ideas and with kids then the ideas from the kids brings to Hakkasen and then we do the award. And when we judge four judges from adults and eight judges from children. So because of the, it's about education, children can be judged, the ideas and the plot type. And one of my friend, friend and 10, no, 11 years old boy, uh, he, he lost some textbook or something. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, so it, this is his idea because he lost something to bring be, uh, when he goes to school. But when he when once he goes to school, he cannot go back. So that's why he wants to back to tell about what is the thing that he has to bring to school, and so. From his idea, the engineers try to make the bag which can help the people, uh, the help the children to understand what is the thing that they have to bring morning at morning. Like this, we do the award, and the winner was the bot well, winner was K Hanazawa, which which who makes the small button for children because in Japan, the children are very shy. They cannot raise the hand even if they cannot, can, they cannot understand the class. So that's why he make the small button. Once he put, uh, once he push, it means he can understand. And twice he push, it means that he cannot understand. By using this, the teachers can understand what percentage of the children can understand the lecture or not. And he brings it to the schools to use it. And his button is the winner of the first Social Fighter Award. And after that, we try to do the Social Fighter Award again. And it's 
only for the under 18s. I mean that for children. So children can make the ideas and children can also join the hackathon, but the adults cannot join the hackathon. So uh, because we have the programming schools for the children, so that's why they made them by themselves and they make it for the award. How can I say that? And I don't know if it can be, <laughs> but I'll try to say that. Uh, he is 10 years old boy. He is really good at programming, but he don't want to good at writing. <laughs> and because in Japan, we Japanese have to practice the Chinese calligraphy characters like this. So many times we have to write down to learn the Chinese character, but he don't want it. So that's why he make the automatically practice machine for learning Chinese character by using the Python. <laughs> and he, he put it in here. And so many engineers are really, <laughs> how can I say? It's very good for you, but the teacher said that you have to write <laughs> to practice, but he really good at Python, so that's why he made it. And <laughs> in this way, I cannot say it's good for his learning because maybe he have to write it down, but by making the things that can be helpful for me self, myself, it means that he can make, he can feel that the thing that, that he made can be useful for the others by, by, by experiencing the, these things, the children can learn what is the things which can be meaningful for them to learn. So that's why I just want to do the hackathon with kids in facing the ocean or Gabzio Summit or Call for Japan Summit. Yeah. <laughs> just I want to bring the children to Hackson. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>